Okay, good afternoon everyone. Yes, back to my excited self. Um, <laughs> okay, someone actually made a request for this video and I felt, okay, why not just do it now? Let us just put it out there. Okay, um, the person obviously has been having issues with the magazines of, con of communication, which is what we are going to be talking about right now. So let's just jump right into it. Once again, good day everyone. Thanks for watching. This is the Teach Our Labs Learning Platform. And so the topic for today is going to be the maxim of communications that was propounded by Paul Grimes. Now, before we jump into the maxims of communications, why would there necessarily be a maxim for, for communication? Don't you think there is really no need why there should be rules guiding how we talk? Like, who needs rules and regulations, by the way? But then for writers, but then for persons who probably would need to be delivering official speeches and presentations, answering questions in press conferences. This maxim of communication is very, very essential. Like you need to know them to know how to go about answering your questions. Like many of us make mistakes when answering, that, when answering questions and then we go back and we're like, oh God, I wish I never answered that question like that. But now, knowing the maxim of communication, knowing the principles of communication, you can know how to answer any question any place any time and anywhere <laughs> okay so now according to paul grice in 1962 paul grice being a linguist and a philosopher he came up with four maxims four major maxims for communication he said people do have disagreements in, in when they talk why do people have to have disagreements why do why does a fight have to ensue just by communicating why can't we just have a peaceful life where everybody learns to understand each other at different points in time? Now, it is this set of questions that gave birth to the four maxims of communication. In no particular order, we have the maxim of quality, quantity, relevance, and manner, which, of course, were propounded by Paul Grice. One thing to be noted is that these rules are not a rule of thumb. You will not find them in any Nigerian or Canadian or Hungarian constitution. These things are things that are just expected to be in our subconscious because at the end of the day, they assist our everyday conversations. So now we have, once again, quality, quantity, relevance, and lastly, manner. Quality, according to Paul Grice, is what he says that do not say more than what is required of you. Do not give lesser information than what is required of you. Now, you've been given a job and you... You've been asked to give a presentation or something or of course a public speech do not say more than what you are supposed to be saying if you're going to be giving a keynote speech or a speech of course on women or children or jobs or education as the case may be do not what I call digress because it is at the point of digressing that you're flouting the maxim of quality only say what of quantity sorry only say what is expected of you do not give more information than what is expected and do not give lesser than what is required which, give, which gives birth to the second maxim which is the maxim of quality now the maxim of quality according to Paul Grice is what says that only say that for which you have adequate evidence for how many of us actually say things that we have adequate evidence for but as we are actually knew these rules we would actually be having better, better communications every day. Now, he said, only say that for which you have adequate evidence for, and do not say that which you know, which you are convinced to be false. For example, I ask you a question and I say, hey, Derry, where is your mother? And you know your mother is actually in the market, but then you come up and tell me, she's in the bathroom. Like, what is that trying to prove? You're simply lying to the person. You're giving a false information to the person. And as a result of, of this, a disagreement can ensue or you just end up confusing the person and misleading the person. These are the things that Paul Grice is saying should not be happening in our communications, in our conversations with people. We should endeavor to have truthful communicate truth sorry truthful responses whenever we are asked a question. Now that does it for the maxim of quality, which also takes us to the maxim of relevance. If I ask you a question and I'm like, how are you today? 
two things are likely to come out of your mouth. It's either you tell me you're fine or you're not fine and then I pursue that and I'm like, why are you not fine? Is everything okay? Do you mind telling me what's going on with you? But then when I ask you, how are you today? And then the response you give me is, my dog is at the backyard. Your dog is at the backyard and you just throw me off and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> like what's even give it to that? Now you have successfully aborted the flow of communication. When you successfully abort, abort the flow of communication, you are putting that conversation in a hitch. You are hitching the conversation to the point that the person who is even expecting an answer from you is probably thrown off and doesn't even know what to say after that. So now, let us, it is, sorry, it is required according to Paul Grice that these rules should be followed. And this is what also gives birth to the maxim, which is the last one, the maxim of manner. Now, the maxim of manner is broader than the other maxims. It says that be concise, be brief, and avoid ambiguity avoid obscurity do not say things that are obscure do not say things that are ambiguous do not give information or responses that have that, are, that is capable of carrying two or more meanings because at the end of the day you end up confusing your listeners you end up confusing your audiences so now it is better that you only say things plainly instead of saying something is extraordinary is flabbergasting is ex it's exciting it's wonderful why don't you just say it's okay why don't you just say it's nice? Why don't you just say it's pretty, as the case may be? Because aside from the aesthetic effect, that is the beauty that exaggerations add to our writings or to our speech, they are capable of adding extra meaning to what we are intending to say. So at the end of the day, the person you're talking to is getting a very, very different meaning from the one you were actually in intending to supply. So now the maximum of relevance quantity, sorry, the maxim of manner, of course, which says be, be, do not be obscure, do not be ambiguous, and be brief. People, however, give lengthy presentations, lengthy speeches, when that thing they were actually saying for 15 to 20 minutes could actually have been wrapped up under five minutes. So now these maxims are things that we need to put into our considerations when writing. For, journal, for, uh, for students of journalism, for students of mass communication, linguistics, people who put their pen to paper and write essays and stuff like that, it is required that you know these maxims to guide the things you put out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson today. I would um, encourage us to like, subscribe and share in our capacity and um, let's also feel free to comment under the box and tell me what you guys would like to see next and let's pick it up from there thank you so much for watching